up everybody, how you doing? Today here with Ethan, he uh, comes out to Breckenridge once a year basically. For how many days? Like you have a week or so, and yeah. but how many days a year do you ride basically? Uh, three or four. Three or four days a year. So uh, he's actually carving pretty good, but I think I got some tips, would have some tips for him as I am a very advanced beginner at it. So uh, would you want some carving tips? Yes, sir. Let's do some carving. So basically, I think his, you, I liked his pace. It's nice and making nice, pretty clean, clean lines. The thing that really stuck out that I'm catching is knees not nearly bent, as bent as they should be uh, when cutting across on the heel side to absorb all the chatter. And so yeah, Ben, let's try to uh, do a couple more turns. And on each heel side, really bend your knees and try to apply some pressure into the back of the high backs. And uh, let's see how that looks. That was already better with the knees bent, so uh, yeah. well, maybe I'll come up with some other tips for him eventually. All right, those are nice, big, clean carves on the cat track. Let's try uh, these tiny, tiny little ones rocking back and forth with the board without going back and forth much. Those, uh, let's bend the knees a bit more, get really squatted down, and then pretty slow because, yeah, it's uh... One of the things Ethan's really doing right is speed control management. He's not hauling ass down the mountain. I definitely know people who snowboard every, almost every day, and they're just going so fast, and they think they're carving, but all they're actually doing is skidded turns back and forth, kind of redirected turns, rather than actually driving an edge in and letting the board use its side cut. So, uh, impressive stuff. Um, and now uh, those tiny little turns uh, that we did earlier, he uh, he was actually going a little too fast for those, because yeah, the board will really engage super quick and aggressively with those. So that's for real slow speeds on cat tracks, especially any type of speed uh you'll have to constantly speed check if you're doing that on steeper stuff but yeah let's make some more turns and another thing just for the balancing he uh grew up skateboarding and recently got into long boarding and with only snowboarding three four days a year obviously that's not much but just that balancing helps a ton huh right yeah so yeah if uh if you could get into skateboarding that is seriously the best uh the best cross training for snowboarding for sure